Historically, when I was growing up, you could work at Safeway or Albertsons and make as a tell checker and make a pretty good wage with benefits. As other grocers came into play, they only offered minimum wage and no benefits, undercutting the industry and evaporating these positions. However, the consequence is these people have to get government health care because they can't afford health care on minimum wage, so the taxpayer pays it. What are your thoughts on this, Scott? That is an excellent question. <clears throat> the health care system that we have is, is not adequate to take care of everyone that we have. And in the service industry, there are a lot of minimum wage workers out there most of them are younger. Most of them probably are at the spot where they are not in desperate need of a lot of health care. However, there are those people that as time goes on and as people age, the health care needs increase dramatically. The cost of health care or the cost of your basic needs of going to a doctor are astronomical for someone, especially like my age. And the tough part about it is there's a give and take to when you ask doctors to supply basic medical attention at such a discounted rate that low-income people can afford it, where's the incentive for the health care for those people that can pay for it, and is it fair <clears throat> for everybody? It, it's a very complicated type of question. My belief is that there needs to be a different kind of a rule set in place, and I'm just not quite sure where where this all comes from, I do know that when you de depend on an employer to make sure that you have health care, there's just going to be too many obstacles, especially an obstacle to be an entrepreneur or someone who wants to venture out and make some money on your own. The, the, it's just totally stacked against you. So what the answer is, I don't know, but I know that there are people out there that are very smart that can come up with better ideas than what we have currently. 